My name is Mindy Kimball. I am a lieutenant colonel in the United States Army and hold a PhD in sustainability from the School of Sustainability at Arizona State University. My dissertation research focuses on breaking our addiction to the automobile in the future and what that means for sustainability here in the Phoenix metropolitan area. But that's a topic for another day. I'd like to share with you some of the amazing experiences I had over winter break on an expedition to Antarctica. The trip was led by an ecotourism company named Cheeseman's Ecology Safaris. It was a special expedition to celebrate the 125th anniversary of the Geological Society of America. We traveled in the Southern Ocean along what is known as the Scotia Arc, visiting the Falkland Islands, South Georgia Island, the South Shetland Islands, and the Antarctic Peninsula. About 90 of us from countries all over the world joined the leading scientists in the field of geology, climate change, marine ecology, and Antarctic regional history. Over the course of three weeks, we sailed on a converted Russian research vessel named the Academic EO. We uh, flew to the Falkland Islands to board our ship and then set sail for a quick day trip to Sea Lion Island before heading into the Southern Ocean. We saw sea lions, of course, plenty of amazing bird life, rockhopper penguins, gentoo penguins, and amazing rock formations. We learned about the rustic life of the Falklanders who burn peat moss for energy, and we even enjoyed tea and cookies at a small settlement on the island. Day after day, we sought new adventures and learned about the natural beauty and wildness that Antarctica has to offer. You might ask, uh, well, how is this related to sustainability? Well, I took this trip for pleasure and for professional enrichment, but what I realized very quickly was that I could share my knowledge with a large group of engineers, scientists, and explorers who hadn't had deep conversations about this new discipline we call sustainability. I found that many of the natural scientists understood the need for interdisciplinary work on tough sustainability problems, and many had heard of ASG's work in sustainability, but far too many of them boiled down the problem to issues of carbon dioxide emissions. And while I learned a great deal from others on the trip about marine ecology, glacial processes, climate change, and structural geology, I was able to share my knowledge of sustainability and broaden many uh, conversations about environmental conservation, ecotourism, whaling and fisheries, uh, natural resource allocation, and climate change. So these days about 30,000 tourists each year visit Antarctica, but nearly half of those never leave their cruise ship. The tour operators join coalitions like the International Association of Antarctic Tour Operators, uh, which is dedicated to environmentally responsible tourism. The Antarctic Treaty governs the region, which is a United Nations treaty to declare Antarctica as a natural reserve dedicated to peace and science. During our trip, we offset our carbon emissions with carbon tree, and we raised over $30,000 for the South Georgia Habitat Restoration Rat Eradication Project. The project will be completed in 2015 and will restore South Georgia Islands to its pre-whaling conditions where it will once again be a sanctuary for millions of birds in the Southern Ocean. Antarctica will stay with me for a long time. The most surprising thing to me was how much life there is in that frozen desert wilderness and how much color there is in a world of ice. I even got to swim in the Southern Ocean at Deception Island, which is an active volcano that blew its top to create a unique steaming black sand beach. To quote Ernest Shackleton, Indeed, the stark polar lands grip the hearts of the men who have lived on them in a manner that can hardly be understood by the people who have never got outside the pale of civilization. I hope wherever life takes you, you have the luxury of drinking in the beauty of nature around you, and you take the time to learn from your fellow travelers while sharing your knowledge of sustainability with them.